One of the questions a few of you have asked me is why is it on the PFD the uh, minimum speed indicated is 30 knots? So let's have a look what this question is about. So this is this airspeed indicator is here. So it's the minimum speed it shows it rests at 30 knots. If you look here on the ND, you've got a ground speed indication here. And this this is large font, if you like. So in general, when we text the, the aeroplane, we refer to the uh, ND ground speed to see how fast the aeroplane is taxiing. We limit our turns normally to 10 knots if it's a 90 degree turn on a dry surface. We try and limit the turn speed to avoid tire scrubbing and just be gentle on the landing gear. So we use 10 knots for 90 degree turn. If it's a wider turn, we can keep the speed a little bit faster, maybe 15 knots if it's a wide turn. If it's wet, then we taxi at a much slower pace, it can be eight knots or even less at six knots because the wheels, the aeroplanes skids and scrubs the tires. So we try at most, uh, our utmost rather, to be gentle on the landing gear and the wheels. So why is it 30 knots? Well, in general, 30 knots here is the maximum we try and restrict the aeroplane for taxiing the aeroplane. We try and restrict taxi speeds to 30 knots. If we're going in a straight line, we try and keep it at 30 knots maximum. You can go faster, it doesn't mean you can't, but we try and keep it at 30 knots because it's easier to stop, it's more controllable. So let's have a look what happens. So I'm on the runway here, 16 in Haneda. So I'm going to taxi the aeroplane and I want you to have a look at what happens on the ND. So I've just taken the brakes off. So we'll start the taxi now. So I've got my hand on the tiller. And we're taxiing, you see the speed is going up. And see what happens when it gets to 30 knots. To keep it straight, I use this. Or I can use this to turn the airplane. So 25 knots, see what happens at 30. Goes to small font. Did you see that? Okay, and I'll slow down again. We're taxiing down the runway. Okay, it's doing 40 knots now. So I'll, I'll apply some braking to bring it below. So what, look what happens at 30 knots. Large font. See, large font. I'll accelerate the airplane again. Thirty knots, small font. Decelerate again. Thirty knots, large font. And the reason for that is because at thirty knots, you wouldn't be looking at the ground speed there. You'd start looking at the airspeed there, because the assumption then is that you're now flying the airplane you're preparing to get airborne. So you shouldn't be looking at that ND, you should now be looking at the airspeed. So at 30 knots, immediately it gets to 31 knots, it becomes small font on the ND, and then the pilot's end is expected to be looking at that, because that will now start indicating. It's expected that now you'll be observing the airspeed indicator for V1 rotation and so on. So that's what happens. That's why the speed is set to 30 knots on the 747 PFD. Large font below 30 knots, 31 knots. It's expected you transfer and now be looking at the airspeed indicator. There you have it. Later.